Welcome back to Alcamilla. We just got the key inside of this box here. Let's go find what it's for. I need a key to open it. Do I? Because there doesn't seem to be anywhere to put a key. Anyway, apparently the key, I, the key I have is not the one for that, so... Let's go upstairs. So I've already fully explored in there. That's where I pressed all of those buttons to open up that thing. Let's keep going up. There's a body in there. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> that's a body all curled up and upside down. What the hell? Ugh. Okay, what is this key for, then? I thought I... I thought I tried every door in here. Maybe I didn't. Oh. Here we go. Hi. Are you an actual person? Or like a doll? I've seen pictures of you two. Okay, so I have to uh, turn the things to make those spin and allow me through. I just need to reach through the barbed wire and, um... Hope she doesn't wake up. I feel like their eyes are going to open or something, or they're going to reach through to me. But, uh, let's do this. Oh, I only need to press one. What happens if I press the other? Oh, I, I guess that was supposed to be a puzzle, and I think I just messed it up. I solved it, and then I unsolved it. There we go. They creep me the hell out. What in the hell is that? Ew. That is disgusting. I found a key inside the monster's body. It stinks like hell. Yeah, I bet. I'm worried it's gonna wake up. Sterilization is one of the most important routines, Nurse Nancy. You have neglected this rule. I 
I just want to keep an eye on it as I walk away. Okay, I guess we're good. Alright, um, this key probably goes to the one downstairs. Yeah, probably to, um, was it this door? That was locked? I don't even know what I'm looking at, and I don't think I want to know. So this was the doctor's office before, I believe. In the other world. under that. The patient has died of septic shock due to blood infection. Sterilization procedures were not properly observed. There's something under this blanket. Yes. Yes, there is. And I don't intend to find out what it is. Only a judge can pass on. Judge these people fairly. Start with the most sinned. Oh god, I don't know if I want to go there yet. Okay, so I've seen some clues about who is, like, Nurse Nancy and, what was it, Daniel? And stuff like that. I think I would need to reread them, though. So let's just ignore that for now. doesn't work. Doesn't have a handle. Okay, so I do have to go through here. Alright, um... I need to go back and read some of the things that I saw before. To be able to judge people fairly. So, let me go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I wrote down some quick notes of the three different messages that I found, which involved blaming doctors and, and nurses and whatnot for not sterilizing properly, or uh, various other things. It's not exactly clear who is more to blame than the others. So I'm not sure how this is going to go, but uh, let's give it a shot. The inscriptions on the wall must have some kind of a logical answer, though I'm not sure that logic still works at this place. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so I'm supposed to start with the most sinned. 
Um, you know, I might have missed a message, because what I have written down mentions David, Robert, Ashley, and Nancy. It doesn't mention Joseph. So maybe I missed a message. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully this doesn't kill me if I get it wrong. I'm assuming I just can't continue if I don't. Yeah, so if I don't get it right, I just, I can't continue. Okay, so the messages I have say that David's blame is twice the blame of Robert. David's blame is twice that of Robert. And then Ashley... Ashley is the really weird message that was just completely broken English. That said, 5 out of 10, the patient will die. Or something to that effect. And it literally said 5 out of 10. 5 slash 10, which is a really weird way to state chances. Why, why wouldn't you just say 50% or 1 out of 2? It's weird that it'd be left in an unsimplified fraction. 5 out of 10, so... I'm not sure if that's just accidentally awkwardly written, or if it's supposed to tell me something. I mean, 5 out of 10 is right in the middle, and there's 5 buttons, so I guess that's telling me that she's the middle one. So Ashley will be the, Ashley will be the third option, I guess. But then David's blame is twice that of Robert's blame. But then what's Robert's blame? Uh, blame? We know it's not three. It's got to be somewhere else. But where else? I have no idea. So I know I don't start with Ashley. David's blame is twice that of Robert. So I'm supposed to start with the most guilty. It could be David. I'm going to try David. Oh, maybe I need to get them... Uh, yeah, I guess I need to do all of them, don't I? I must be missing a message or something, because this... I don't, I don't think I have enough information to do this properly. Alright, well... David's blame is twice that of Robert, so let's assume that David's blame... Let's assume that Robert's blame was two, so David's is four. No, that wouldn't be right. I have no idea. Uh, David, Nancy... Ashley, Robert, Joseph... Whoa! Okay. <clears throat> I think the game's trying to tell me no. I'm thinking that might not be the answer. Just maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. Yeah, I never looked up. That looks painful. I think I'm missing a message or something. The thing is, none of the messages that I saw, except for the one referencing Ashley, actually referenced a number. Like, David's blame is twice that of Robert's. That only makes sense if I know what Robert's blame is. I don't know what Robert's blame is. Ashley's blame, blame is five-tenths, so it's in the middle. And for Nancy, it just said that this is one of the most serious... Uh, she neglected one of the most serious things. She committed one of the most serious crimes, so maybe she's the first one? I think I already started with Nancy, though. I can't remember who I started with. Maybe I started with David. But... I, this is very fuzzy. Let's try... Nancy. Joseph. Ashley. David. Robert. And I'm probably gonna die. Okay, let me, let me look around and see if I missed something more. Okay, so I found a couple more messages. I definitely missed a couple. Unfortunately, it doesn't really reveal all that much. It's still... it's very, very fuzzy. 
I can't really logically put these together. I can, I can come up, I can come up with like one certainty though, and that's that Joseph is the one who least sinned. Because I did find a message that said um, something like, "Joseph, you're an excellent surgeon, but you are responsible for the employees, even if you are not to blame." So he does share some of the sin, but he's obviously the least blamed one. Because it simply said, you're an excellent surgeon, but you're responsible for the employees. So Joseph is definitely the one that least sinned, so he definitely comes last. But as for where the others come, I don't know. I mean, we still have the thing that says David's blame is twice that of Robert's, but I don't know what Robert's blame is, so I'm not sure what twice, you know, what's, what's two times an unknown quantity? Who the hell knows? But um, I do know that David's blame is twice that of Robert's, and David was inebriated. I know that Ashley was apparently dropped a swab inside during surgery and also revealed flesh, which I guess means didn't observe proper sterilization or something like that. Um, and then there's another message that also said the patient died of septic shock because sterilization was not uh, sterilization procedures were not observed properly. So ultimately, ultimately what killed the patient was a lack of sterilization. So whoever messed up the sterilization is the one most to blame. So Ashley not only dropped a swab inside, but also revealed flesh, which I guess is probably the worst. And then Nancy apparently didn't uh, neglected sterilization, but that's all she did. So I'm thinking that she's a little bit less to blame than Ashley, maybe. And if they're the if, if they're the two most to blame, and Joseph is the least, then what must come after them would have to be David, and then Robert, and then Joseph. So I've got two or three configurations that I think might work, even though it's all very fuzzy and confusing. Trust me, if you're confused because of what I just said, it's because I didn't explain it very well, and I didn't explain it very well because I don't understand it very well. But uh, let's try a couple. So let's try Ashley, Nancy, David, Robert, Joseph. Okay, cool. Let's try David. Ashley. Nancy. Robert Joseph. Okay, cool. I have one idea left. My original one was Ashley Nancy. Let's try Nancy Ashley. Nancy. Ashley David Robert Joseph. Okay, okay. That was it. So Ashley is actually not the most to blame, it's actually Nancy. Because the patient died of a lack of sterilization and Nancy was the apparently the only one to actually neglect sterilization. That's kind of weird though, because I said Ashley dropped a swab inside and revealed flesh. I guess revealed flesh is not the same as... I, I guess it's not the same as... Neglecting proper sterilization? Uh, I guess it has nothing to do with sterilization. Well, kinda. I mean, revealed flesh, which I guess means something like not wearing gloves. That can cause infection, and that's the point of sterilization, is to prevent infection. So... I would call that n neglecting proper sterilization procedures. But, uh, anyway. Whatever, it worked. That head seems to be missing, like, well, half of itself. Not just the eyes missing, though, there's just huge, gaping holes. Ugh. Oh god, we have to go into the morgue. We have to go into the morgue, don't we? We do.
Looks like the shovel was used to break down the door. What in the heck am I gonna do with the shovel? Did I do that? No, I didn't do that. Okay, seriously, what am I gonna do with a shovel? Maybe I could use it to pry open a door like it was used there? I wouldn't think of a shovel as being a very good tool for prying open doors. It's more for digging holes. I managed to open the doors with a shovel. Oh! Thank god I tried that. I was just mashing my button on every door, just in case. I think it just took me to the third floor, which I couldn't access through the door before. I have almost no idea what that actually says. I can barely read it. The something something committed with the moon? I hope that note is not important. You hear that noise? It sounds like a heart. I feel like, I feel like I'm getting closer to the sick, beating heart at the center of this place. Judgment is a just cause or something? Something like that. Oops. Wire cutters. I don't think that I will need them. Could be useful later on. Alright, need to keep that in mind. more things written in cursive. There's so many of these notes that I think I probably need to know them. The judge was strict, but he was fair. The something-something deeds from below? Oh my god, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Is this what I need the wire cutters for? 
wrap with barbed wire, I think so. or I don't know if it's actually a blood bag but that bag of something is marked contaminated Looks like these notes are somehow connected to the strange symbols. The something of the criminal is left something in the past? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, those notes are absolutely needed to solve something. Should be interesting to solve it, given that I can only read like half the words. I think I just went in here. Yeah. Oh, not another one of those body bags. I think it's going to involve putting tarot cards in the right order. Oh, hi. This is the Room of the Drunk. Or, it was the Room of the Drunk. Moon. Okay, yeah, one of the messages did mention a moon. Cut open the wires now. Where were the wires? Were they here? Yeah.
in the hell is this thing? Thank God it's caged off. Okay, a key. Strange key. A key to what? A key to where? The doors were locked. Use the painting and it just took me to the ladder. Okay, what's uh, what's down here? I don't want to be in here. I remember what was in here before. I don't know what these tarot cards are for. Okay, so the point of going in there was, I think, just to find the tarot card, but yeah, where do I use the tarot cards? sure, but um, I think I'll find out in the next episode, because this episode is running on an hour. Don't want it to get too long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.